Hey guys, Great North Fishing Outdoors here, and today I'm going to show you how to put braid or fishing line onto a bait caster. Um, the bait caster I'm using is uh, the one that comes with uh, ugly, ugly Stick Elite bait casting rod. Um, it's a lot better than I was expecting it to be for uh, a reel that came with a rod. Three ball bearings, not crazy, uh, six four to one gear ratio. Um, I think it, this is a magnetic drag, or a magnetic break. I'm not too sure. But uh, anyway, let's get right to the video. The line I'm going to be using for this video is 30 pound moss green spider wire uh, braid. Okay, so let's get right to it. So what you're gonna do first is uh, you're gonna take your I take this is how I do it. So some people put like to put mono on uh, first, but this is how I like to do it. So first you just put your line into the line guide. Here I'm gonna try and get a better camera angle for you guys. So you put the line through your uh, your line guide. And then what I do to get it around the reel is see if I can focus. I stick it into one of these little holes and I just, oh, I just stick it into one of the uh, holes in my spool and then I bring it around to tie the knot. So we have a broad around like this and I just tie the knot. Uh, sorry I can't do it on camera. It's really hard to do it one handed. Uh, I'll see if I can mount the camera anyway get that. okay so sorry about that guys I just ran out of storage on my phone uh, when I tied the knot but as you can see all I did was I tied a knot on here it has to be nice and tight or else uh, your braid will come on focus uh, or else your braid will slip on the spool so now you have this tag end, and all you want to do is you grab, come on, okay, I'll be right back. You just get a pair of scissors or a knife, and you cut the tag end off. There you go. Now, see, we have a little bit, there's still a little bit of a tag, but it's good enough that we can start reeling in. So all you're gonna want to do, get this out of the way. All you're gonna want to do is have your braid or your line, sorry, just have it open easily. Uh, open so it'll easily come off. And all you do is you start reeling. Now what you're wa gonna want to do is hold on to that line when you're reeling because. When uh, you're reeling, you want it to be nice and tight on your on your spool. You don't want it loose because then it'll get all ugly and not nice. Sorry guys, I have my bed. Oh my god. I'm trying to mount my phone on my tackle bag. Okay, so all your oh my goodness. <laughs> So all I'm doing is slowly reeling in with my with my uh, my braid or my line, nice and uh, nice and free, so it can just come off. I don't know if you guys can see the line like that. So it just freely comes off. I'm gonna try and get my phone to stay up and show you what I mean. I just slowly reel in. I'm pulling it tight so that. Doesn't get all loose, loosey goosey. I'm just reeling in as much line as I want. And we're all done. I hope you guys uh, got learned something from this video. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get another, no I'm not, I don't think I'm getting another spool out of this. Uh, but see I have it uh, filled up pretty good, pretty good. Um, I just did this for a tutorial, so I wasn't, too, I don't really know if I put 
I might have put a little bit too much line. I might uh, I might have put a little bit too much line on for what I'm using it for, but sorry for the shaky camera. But that's okay because I'm just doing this for a tutorial. It's better to put too much line on than not enough because then you can always just cut it off, and it's uh, a little bit harder to put more line on your spool than uh, to just cut off some if you put too much on. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one.